Today I will be demonstrating the milk of magnesia, commonly known as MOM, an antacid sold over the counter. We know that antacids or antiacids neutralize excess acid in your stomach. So today we are modeling Le Chatelier's principle using some milk of magnesia. I have a universal indicator and that's why you see the rainbow here, kind of giving us an indication, as indicators do, of how acidic or how basic our solution will be. And we have some hydrochloric acid, which of course is the same as what's in our stomach. So we're going to be modeling how Le Chatelier's principle will be used in the milk of magnesia hydrochloric acid demonstration. A little background knowledge of the color chart for the universal indicator. Notice that in pH range of 4, which is quite acidic, 5 is an orange, 6 is yellow, we hit into the greens as we become more basic, and then of course all the way up to like a purple, which is a pH of 10. The color chart will help us determine how the addition of hydrochloric acid into the milk of magnesia actually affects the equilibrium that we're setting up. So let's begin, and what I have is a magnetic stirrer, and I'm simply going to place some water on the magnetic stirrer and get it going. I will add some in universal indicator and simply get the color into the water, and we want that color to be kind of vibrant, so I'll keep adding until we get a nice green color. Now notice, just to remind ourselves, the green on our our indicator representing pH of 7. Of course, water being neutral, that's not coming up very well. See, pH of 7 is green, and that's, of course, what water would be. When we add our strong base, the milk of magnesia, into the solution, we're going to see a color change, providing evidence that milk of magnesia indeed is not neutral, but a very strong base. Now, milk of magnesia is quite chalky. It's a thick suspension, not even a true solution, but a suspension. So it's going to take just a little bit of time to get that all to dissolve well. And just take a look at the color as it's coming out of our solution. Notice that we have now definitely evidence of a base. So kind of reviewing, it's hard to get on the camera, the pH wheel coming here at about a pH of 10 to match this color. Now, what we have is a dynamic equilibrium with the ions and their solid. And I'll write that on the board, on the whiteboard, and we'll take a look at that. But the purpose of this demo is to cause a stress. Let's take this hydrochloric acid, and I'm going to put a good squirt in there, and I want you to observe the color changes as they appear. Here comes the acid. Wow. Let me do it again. That's a beautiful thing of Le Chatelier is we can do this over and over. Le Chatelier's principle, of course, whatever I do to cause a disturbance or a stress to the solution, the solution here is going to counteract that stress to get back to the equilibrium position, to get back in balance. Upon immediate addition, I want you to notice the reds. From the red, I get to the greens. And from the greens, we get back to blue. Addition of acid, I see the appearance of reds, greens, and back to blue. Reds, greens, and back to blue. Let's talk about this demonstration and how Le Chatelier's principle was just modeled.